Hey guys, I'm Angela Jean and welcome to my channel where we talk all things manifestation, meditation, and healing. Today, I specifically want to talk about the human default setting and what this is to me and why it is important to be aware of it. So life is moving with or without us. I think we can all agree on that. And we can either have a bumpy ride or we can have a more enjoyable ride. That all depends on whether or not we track back to the default setting or we keep life moving forward. To me, the default setting is the old you. It's the old program that was running your life before you started your spiritual practice. But depending upon how long you've been diving into your spiritual practice, we all know that that default setting is still a reactive space that's easy to retract back to, especially when you get mad when you get passionate about something, when you're upset, if you have a cocktail, <laughs> because that's when your decisions and your rational mind goes out the window. So the default setting is very powerful until you have spent quite some time reprogramming it. The thing about your default setting, you guys, is your default setting keeps you stuck. Life is moving with or without you. The thing about being stuck in your default setting is that you are moving, but you're just treading water. You are not moving forward when life and time is still moving forward. The beauty about your spiritual practice, you guys, is that the more spiritual religious you get, you'll realize that spirituality and religion propel you forward in life because faith moves you forward, hope moves you forward, inspiration, creation, ideas, those are all things that have yet to uh, become, come into your reality, right? So the problem is something that's dead and gone. It's actually a manifestation that's already dead. So if you stay focused on the problem, you're staying back here. You are not moving forward in life. You're staying stuck. Problems keep you stuck. Solutions move you forward. Time is pulling you either way. One pulls you down and back. One pulls you forward and up. And that's why it's so important to be aware of the default setting. Quick story, um, I've obviously been in my spiritual practice for probably 15 years now. But the other day, this is also why I think social media and the news likes to constantly feed us negative things that keep us like fired up and angry in that fight mode is because it keeps us stuck. It keeps us stuck. It puts us back in our default setting. It puts us in our monkey mind. It doesn't keep us in our spiritual side of our body because spirituality is love, faith, creation, ideas, solutions, where <laughs> a lot of times all the stuff that we see online triggers us back to just our angry fight side, right? Like, oh, so mad, right? Keep them mad, keep them stuck, keep them dumb, right? <laughs> because with spirituality, you're exploring ideas, you're exploring solutions, you're exploring healing, you're exploring things and you are discovering in the process, right? And when you're discovering things, you can no longer be lied to, manipulated. So it's a lot harder to control the person that is doing the spiritual practice. So I think that's why it's very, very important that we are paying attention to what we're seeing online. I only watch what I want to watch so that I'm choosing what I'm watching and nothing is fed to me. However, the other day I was on Instagram, just a quick story. I was on Instagram and I was watching this video and it's this little girl getting her hair braided by her mom and she must have a reflection of herself or something. And the little girl, she's like, she looks at herself and she's like, I'm so ugly. And the mom's like, what? What did you just say? And the little girl looks at herself again in the mirror and she's like, I'm so ugly. And her mom swings her around and she's like, don't you say that, don't you say that, you are not ugly. When you look at the mirror at yourself, you are a beautiful little girl, you are beautiful, that's what you say. And the little girl looks at her, here's her mom, but then she looks back at herself in the mirror and you can tell that she's like processing. I don't even know how fucking, this little girl's three years old, you guys, how she even knows what pretty and ugly is, anything about vanity baffles me. <laughs> infuriates me actually and the little girl starts crying because it's almost like she's hearing her mom but she's thinking like no I'm not I'm ugly I'm ugly and I got so pissed you guys and what happened the prop the point of the story is it got me so fired up what did I do I retracted back to my default setting and in my mind meanwhile I was at the gym lifting weights I'm like I'm gonna beat some kids up oh my god this is why I'm not a mom I'd be kicking some kids asses and then I'd find the mom and I'm gonna kick the mom's ass and what did that do, you guys? That kept me in my small monkey mind, my default setting, the angry zone, right? The angry zone is not <laughs> the most healthy space to be. But anytime you are in that state of mind, you are not hearing, there's no information coming in, you're not really processing 
in an intellectual way and I've learned that a lot through my spiritual practice. You guys, you really have to take that breath, calm down, let all of the energy and the chemicals that stir up when you get passionate, angry, upset about something calm down because you aren't making rational decisions when you're angry. You aren't making rational decisions when you're passionate and the scales tip the other way to that default setting. So I just thought it was very interesting and that's why I want to share this story how easy it is for spirituality to be this constant struggle. It's this constant dance. And that's why I say, you guys, you're never done. You plateau and you think you've got everything figured out and you've got all this awareness and you're like, oh, I got this. But then bam, it like humbles you and you realize it is something that you will work on for the rest of your life, whether it's religion, whether it's spirituality, whether you believe in science, it is something that is ever changing. And always there's one trying to pull you this way and one trying to pull you this way. Whether you believe in the enemy and God, whether you believe in lower vibration, higher vibration, it just depends what your language is when it comes to this. I don't want to like pigeonhole this at all. I just want to tell you that that's why you have to be very aware of the human default setting. It's like this program that's always trying to yank you back, especially like the further along you get on your spiritual practice and the more you propel forward, there's always that thing that's like losing, right? Whether it's the ego, whether it's the enemy, whether it's low vibration, it's like get back here on our side, you know what I mean? So it's like this is tug of war. So you just have to really have a lot of self-awareness. That is the most important thing with spirituality, religion, whatever it is, is your self-awareness has got to be sharp. You know what I mean? You have to be very sharp because you have to catch yourself before you spend too much time on that downward spiral of that vortex that just sucks you down. It's like literally, that's why a drain, that's why hurricanes, tornadoes, they're so powerful. It is this vortex just sucking down and then just spitting out shit, right? <laughs> That's literally the analogy I have. It has this beautiful home, sucks it in and spits it out and you're left with nothing but rubble. And that's literally what happens when you go down this default setting, when you retract back to the default setting, right? It just shreds everything up. It shreds up all the work you've done and spits it out the back, okay? I have these weird analogies and I get these really weird visions when I'm thinking of this stuff, but I just wanted to share that with you guys, um, just to be very aware of the human default setting. You know what I mean? You have to stand guard on your mind and stand guard on the things that fire you up and make you passionate and try to take that breath, try to let the chemicals calm down so that what you can keep your life propelling forward It'd be like, okay, this was not pleasant <laughs> to watch. How can I make change? Can I just educate the people within my home, within my family about this so that when I send them out into the world, they're like little soldiers of good. They're little soldiers of solutions instead of little assholes. <laughs> okay. Sorry, this is why I'm not a mom the way I talk. But, um, well, whatever, I could be a mom. This is just how I talk. <laughs> okay, you guys. And if you have not watched The Social Dilemma, wow very powerful documentary. I've watched it a few times. It makes me want to delete my social media, but the thing about social media is when they started everything, their intention was good. Unfortunately, like any Marvel movie, it got put into the wrong hands and used for bad. So now it's just a matter of rebalancing everything and always focusing on the solution, creation, ideas, love, because that's keeping you propelling forward, not staying stuck back here in the problems, right? Don't stay stuck back here and tread water, okay? Because life and time is moving without you. So use your life to propel forward. Use your life to be a messenger. Use your life to inspire people and be a message for good. And that is it for today. Okay, guys. <laughs> and no, if you, that's not a hickey. I burnt myself with a curling iron. Just in case that peeks out. Someone always notices everything on these videos. So I burnt myself with a curling iron. I wish it was a hickey. <laughs> it's kidding. All right, bye, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my rampage today, you guys. If you have not subscribed to my channel, bam, click the circle right there. And my Thursday's video, check it out. It's a good one. See ya.